A group of public school advocates are calling on the legislature to honor a 2003 law that requires education funding to be in place by April 1st. It's a law that's only been met once back in 2005. And I'm with Amber England, who is director of Oklahoma, uh, the Oklahoma chapter of Stand for Children. And uh, Amber, you're calling on lawmakers to meet this law, but it's not something that is not a deadline that's been met very often, only once. That's correct. Uh, the law passed in 2003, and it was pushed by Republican leaders at the time and signed into law by Governor Brad Henry, passed with overwhelmingly bipartisan support. Republican leaders were right to push Democrats who were in charge at the time to actually fund education first. And that's what we're asking today is that they just simply follow the law that they passed in 2003. Yeah, and we know that education funding has become kind of a contentious topic over the last decade, really, especially in the last few years. We've seen a series of cuts, mid-year cuts. Uh, you know, I want to talk to you about what your group plans to do in the few weeks, but, but looking beyond that, uh, have you given any thought to what kind of legal ramifications might be uh, attempted if the, if the deadline comes and goes? Uh, we are prepared to release a budget to show them that it actually is possible to fund education and to plug this budget hole and to pass a teacher pay raise um, and a, fund, a plan that adequately funds education by April first. Um, we haven't looked into any sort of le legal remedies, um, but what we're hopeful is that with the many advocates that are here today, as we have conversations with lawmakers today, reminding them about that law, um, that they'll actually take it to heart and actually follow the law this time. You know, Oklahomans uh, are expected to follow laws. If I speed, if I go five to ten miles an hour over the speed limit, I'm going to get a ticket. I'm going to have to pay a fine or a penalty. These lawmakers need to set an example for Oklahomans and follow the law that they passed in 2003. With the teacher pay, your group uh, pushed for a $5,000 teacher pay raise last year, a statewide question that didn't pass. Um, there is a plan that's kind of making its way through, a one, two, three plan. Ultimately, it would be a $6,000 raise, but that first year would only be a $1,000 raise. I'm curious, would you see that as a victory, even if it is now, we haven't seen revenue attached to it yet, so there's still that, that important piece, but a one that would still technically be a $1,000 raise next year after your group came off pushing for a $5,000 raise. Is this a plan you'd like to see? I think we would like to see a plan that gives teachers at least a $5,000 pay raise. We would see a $1,000 pay raise as progress, but not it's not going to address the, te the critical teacher shortage that we have. But beyond that teacher pay raise, we need a plan that actually adequately funds education.